Welcome back to Level Headed Gamer, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, we got our first look at Resident Evil 8 Village for the first time with some uninterrupted gameplay. We got some smaller trailers before, and I just finished watching it fresh with my kind of emotions, and I gotta say, I'm underwhelmed. Uh, I liked Resident Evil 7. I think, I think Resident Evil 7 Biohazard was good, but to me personally, it wasn't mind-blowing. It was just better than the Resident Evil games we were getting before that with Resident Evil 6 and 5 and uh, Revelation ones. Oh, and I gotta say this one that they showed with the gameplay, I mean, graphically, it looks phenomenal. From a shooting standpoint, which was my problem with Resident Evil 7, this shooting kind of looks okay at best. And Resident Evil 7's shooting, in general, combat mechanics wasn't the strong suit. It was the exploration, it was the puzzles, it was the return to form. Resident Evil Village, uh, to me, feels like they're trying to combine the formula of the new Resident Evil games with the first-person perspective with Resident Evil 4, with collection and a weapon upgrade and the way you broke, uh, you know, the, the vases and boxes to get some ammo. It, it's trying to combine the two things together. And, of course, they're expanding it. And from a visual standpoint, I like what they're doing. From a story perspective, I got to be honest, is it even Resident Evil anymore? Um, I'm not going to judge it based like if it's a good game, you know, it could be a great game. It could be a great from beginning to end, but is it really Resident Evil anymore as the identity we know it as, especially after getting remakes of Resident Evil 2, which was phenomenal. And I'm one of the people who liked Resident Evil 3 remake. It wasn't as strong as, Re as in Resident Evil 2, but it was a good remake in my opinion. And I'd rather actually play from what I'm seeing so far, which is, you know, a small amount. So far, I would prefer something of Resident Evil 3 more because, first of all, the combat field visceral. I like the third-person perspective. Uh, the shooting mechanics are, I can tell you now, are better. It really annoys me that when in first person you're aiming down the side, he's kind of, it looks like he's, he's aiming, aiming from the hip. This is a bunch of bullshit. I'm not, I'm not digging it. Um... I haven't played, I don't think I've ever played a Japanese game with good first-person gameplay. But again, that's that's just been my experience. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can point out to me a game that's that defies that. It's actually good. Um, but it definitely, definitely underwhelmed. Of course, I'm going to be picking it up. I am a Resident Evil fan. I'm not going to make judgments right away and say that's it this is garbage i'm not an extremist like a lot of people are on the internet i am gonna try it out but i can't help but then my initial feeling of it is blah not to mention the other announcement they had the beta which i signed up for was the re reverse oh my fucking god i i don't i can't even i can't even begin with that it looked like garbage on a different level um definitely What's the one? Was that the Resident Evil multiplayer game they released that completely failed? It just looks like a rehash of that. And then out of nowhere, uh, Division Two developer says, "Oh, we're gonna have our costumes in there as well." And it's for me like the whole showcase, the way they hyped it up. I I don't care. Uh, I will try out the demo they announced uh, to see what it looks like. You know, I'm sure the sound effects because I do remember Resident Evil Seven had amazing sound effects, really good graphics. Uh, story and the bosses were really intense and even despite the fact that I didn't feel like I was playing a Resident Evil game uh, it did feel like a good game for whatever it was made if you know we I think everybody complained about that there was a, a small enemy variety and the shooting mechanics needed to improve they definitely improved in the enemy variety but uh, like vampires is vampires now and this the guys the blocking mechanic that's what we got. I don't know. It's just Resident Evil 2 to me. It seemed like the peak of what Resident Evil could be. And this kind of feels like just mediocre. Uh, I don't want to keep repeating myself. That's kind of my thoughts in general. I am pretty disappointed. I would love to hear from you guys. Were you enjoying this? Did you think the showcase was amazing? Did, is, this, is it fulfilling your dreams? Or it's kind of garbage? Um, let me know down below. And guys, I'm going to be covering this game as it comes out. You know, more information comes out about it. I'm definitely going to cover the demo, and I'm going to show you some gameplay of that as well. So stay tuned for more Resident Evil and gaming news in general if you'd like to subscribe to the channel as well. And let me know down below um, what you thought. And what if there's any other games you'd like me to cover, let me know. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.